Welcome back to Network Africa. It is a season to be jolly, so parties, shopping, gifts, and all the lot uh, all make up this Christmas season. We look forward to all of that. But what's the use of being jolly with nothing in your pocket at the end of the year or for the new year? Joining us on the program with some financial advice is uh, Channel's Television's business editor, Bosun Omofaye, who I know has been very prudent all year with his, <laughs> with his money. Bosun, compliments of the season. Great to have you here. Um, you. When you look back, you know, to this season last year, yes. what do you notice? What's different about Christmas and, you know, the celebrations the, this well, year? Well, the, the first major difference was that the four cues are not present this year. This mm -hmm. time last year, Nigerians were struggling to buy fuel, to put in generators. Folks were sleeping for days and weeks at petrol, st petrol stations and what have you. So we've been able to, to put that away. Um, again, some folks report a bit of uh, stable electricity in, in some parts of the country. So, and in the last uh, one or two days, the, it looks like the hammer time season is here in Lagos. So, mm -hmm. uh, you may need to turn off the generator at night because it's open cooler. up the windows a little bit is mm -hmm. cooler. Just put some mosquito net uh, over there, and you could just sleep very nicely. So that saves you a little bit of of, of petrol cost or diesel or whatever you use. Uh, however, if you look at it in terms of Last year was when everyone thought that Christmas or uh, end of year festivities would be very dull, drab and whatever. But we were all shocked with folks flocking to all the amusement places and, and, and what have you, yeah, exactly. and beer parlors and exactly. street corners and what have you. Yeah. And exactly the same thing has happened this year. And that shows the resilience of the Nigerian people. That despite the fact that the government successively have not been able to meet their needs and provide social safety net or end enough to save even for the rainy day, they've been able to, on their own, work very hard, very resilient, very entrepreneurial, and ache out a living in such a manner that they can put a few coins away for the 12th month of the year, which is December, hoping that somehow they put smiles on their own faces mm -hmm. on behalf of family and friends. Yeah, but um, do you think people spent more this year because, uh, or do you think people didn't spend more this year because they didn't have or because they didn't save or because, you know, all the factors were there to help people save? So saving is very difficult in Nigeria, again, because one, the income is not there, it's, it's one day you're in job, the next day you're out of job, there's no social safety net. Uh, one day you're sure of your salary in many several places, the next day you're not sure of your salary. Um, uh, one day you're sure of what the transport cost will be, the next day you're not sure. Mm -hmm. One day you're sure of the petrol prices, the next day you're not sure. One day you're buying kerosene at this price, the next day you're buying it at a different price. One day the uh, gari is costing this, then the next day it's costing different. Where bread is costing this on Monday, by Friday it's costing different. So we live in an economy and an environment where it's one day with, I don't want to use the word, perhaps one day with the Lord at a time. Let me put it that way. <laughs> uh, so you live as it comes, one day you live it as you see it. So planning, financial planning becomes a little bit difficult for the common man, and I'll put it that way very carefully, or for the average Nigerian mm. uh, who, try to, who is not sure of his job, who is not a political appointee, who has no extra money coming from the side, except that he works extra time or try to make some commerce trading by the side and, and try to put some money away. Okay, so let's, let's help the common man now. Um, let's, let's help people understand how to prepare for the new year, which mm. will, we will be entering in just a few days. Yes. Uh, January is said to be the longest year, longest, longest month, month in mm. the year. So how do we get through January? January ought to be the easiest month anyway. But again, because you pay a lot of bills, rents, uh, your mortgage, whatever, in January it seems to, to take a lot of money. Again, you're looking at the backlog of spending. Don't forget, it's not just before Christmas. You have a few other holidays mm -hmm. in uh, many countries around the world and, and, and regions. So that seems to, to drain your, 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 your cash flow before January comes in. Uh, and, and again, with the extra spending, with the, the, the mood to be happy and be festive and be merry, we all seem to be a little bit loose with our purse, as it were. <laughs> so we seem to open things up a little bit and, and dole out extra cash. A few friends over there be a bit more generous, perhaps do some charity or what mm. have you, thinking that, well, somehow in January things are going to work out. Heavens will smile, as it were, as we say, how here and here, and things will go on. But folks need to begin to plan. But again, the first step to planning is that the government needs to work to revamp the economy mm -hmm. in such a way that we can, we can make financial planning for the common man more easy. If that doesn't happen, 
folks are beginning to find it difficult. Mm -hmm. And they'll keep spending and struggling year in, year out. And that makes life difficult even till old age and, 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 and until one passes away. And that's a very difficult challenge in this environment that we're practically living from hand to mouth. You put it in one pocket, you put it in the other pocket, and you just keep going like that without any ability, without no structure, without a structure, economically speaking, from the government side to help us move into, into a, a situation where you have in other developed economies around the world, maybe Western Europe, maybe Asia, and, 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 and other places like that. Well, I'm sure some people are thinking, okay, maybe I shouldn't have bought, you know, as many presents as I did, you know, because I, I, I'm looking at January and, and I don't know if, if I'll get a full 13th month or anything like that. So what do you say to those people? Um, should they cut down on the presents? I, 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 that, I, when I say this, I'm hoping that those who are hoping to send me presents don't cut down on their presents all the same. Yeah, time. because if you ask the question, whatever <laughs> answers you get, the viewers are the ones who are going to hit you on that. So you're the one who's in line, who's on the firing line for that. Well, sincerely speaking, uh, for those who get bonuses, they should uh, be very careful, be a bit spent swift. Mm -hmm. Things are going to be a little bit tough. We need to be very sincere and honest with ourselves. A few things will go higher. I mean, mm -hmm. New Year, I mean speaking for Nigeria. Yeah. The world, economically speaking, is not going to be very, very easy. Look at the Italian banking system. You have a bank that has about 40 billion euros in serious trouble. In Italy, for example, you can imagine the depositors' funds and what is happening to those depositors in Italy, in Italy as we speak. So Nigeria has its own problems. So we have the price of petrol. We're not sure. Dollar is strong. Naira is weak. Electricity tariff, we're not sure what will happen when that will go up. It, it's a little bit tough. Then you have the climate change as well, affecting food production from North Africa all the way down. We've seen it in exactly. East Africa, from Ethiopia, the Horn of Africa, and Southern Africa. So we're not immune to both local and global headwinds. So people need to be a bit more circumspect and be a little bit, perhaps the zip on the wallet, so the inner pocket should just be opened halfway and just keep it half open and half closed. Yeah, it could be half open for Amarachi. Thanks a lot, Bosun. Okay, that, 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 you say that to the viewers out there. Thanks a lot, Bosun, for joining us on the Network Africa. And that's the program today. Thanks for watching. I am Amarachi Ubani.